This is an instrument cluster off the 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee that had uh, PCI issues where the battery positive voltage ignition switch was shorted to the PCI bus. This is the one that the customer put in a new instrument cluster, alternator, engine computer. Well, not a new cluster or engine computer. They were from a salvage yard off of eBay or something. So this cluster shows the incorrect miles. It has the incorrect VIN in it. So originally, Evan's going to help here. Shine the light up here, buddy. Originally, I thought this was the EE prom right there. That's not the EE prom. The EE prom is stored in the MCU or the microcontroller. And this is a 100 pin microcontroller. So, if I want to be able to change the mileage in here and the VIN and all that stuff, I got to be able to read that. Well, there's two ways you could do that. You're not going to do it with the EE prom reader, which I have all the attachments here because it's just for EE prom. I'm going to have to use the IM508 with the XP400 Pro. And what I could do is I could desolder it from the board and it's soldered on this breakout board here because the package size is a FQFP80, so it's 80 pins, 20 on each side. I could do that, hook it up. I have another video on some EEPROM. Hook it up to this, hook it up to my M508 or my laptop and read it. Or there's another way I could do it. But either way, if you come in here with the light, buddy, it's a Motorola chip. There's your MC, there's your part number, right? So if I go in here, I'm going to go to Programmer. You can turn the light off, buddy. In the front one, there you go. I'm going to go to Chip, Chip Read and Write. What I'm going to look at is the MCU. So it's... It's actually a Freescale brand, Freescale Motorola, one and one. What is this thing doing? There we go. So there's no Motorola on here. So Freescale is Motorola. Shine the light again, buddy. Not in my eyes, down here. It's a MC, where is it? MC68HC. MC68HC912. Down, buddy, with the light. 912B32. So we're going to go right here. You can turn it off now. 912B32. Right there's the chip. E prom is what we want. Schematic diagram I already downloaded from Autel service, servers. Turn it off, buddy. And here's the chip. Here's your wires. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you go back, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can hook these wires up on here, solder them onto the board with these wires here, put them in here, hook it up to the IM5 wire or the computer, and read it. Or we can desolder the whole chip from the board, all 100 pins, solder it on here, and read it. And then when we read it, We'll look at the VIN, we'll write the new VIN in there, the new mileage, and then rewrite it. So what you would do is you go back in here, we'd read it, and then we save it, you know, all the stuff, and then write it. I don't know if the customer wants to do that, because that's going to take some time, it's a special procedure, or if he just wants to deal with the VIN mismatch and the mileage, which it did not even need this instrument cluster from the beginning. So you may see more to this video, you may not, it just depends what the customer wants to do and if he wants to pay the fee that we charge to do this.